Hi, everybody. I thought it would be fun to cover the worst video game box art uh, of all time that I could find. Um, you know, even if your game, you know, is total crap, you could at least try to trick people into buying it, you know, with, you know, a cool cover. You're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but a lot of people do. So, you know, it wouldn't hurt to have a cool cover. If you guys like it, let me know, and I can make a part two. There are a ton of bad box art out there. Like, oh my god, so much. So, I couldn't fit them all into this this video. But next one, if you guys like it, I can just add more. So, first up, guys. Ninja Scooter Simulator. Now, what's great about this is that the scooter is clearly the vehicle of choice for ninjas everywhere. I mean, you've got wheels the size of fucking tire wheels. Like, this is like car wheel status. You've got fucking, like... He's got spikes coming out of the front of his scooter like he's gonna kill someone by running into him. Yeah, okay. And like, you know, I just, it's only a buck 99. I guess that's a pound 99, so it's like four dollars, but who wouldn't pick up this game for four dollars? I mean, god, it's a simulator. This, you, I, I assume you get to scooter around the whole time as a ninja. Definitely worth my four dollars. Next up, Snow White. And the Seven Clever Boys. Now, besides pretty much every single thing just being wrong about this, like, who are the fuck are the Seven Clever Boys? What What is that? Those aren't, like, has nobody, have you never read Snow White? How did you fuck that up? Maybe they didn't get, no, I can't even imagine. If they're using Snow White's name, they should be able to use the Seven Dwarves. Uh, to top this off, guys, Snow White is blonde in the game so I don't know who the fuck this bitch is on the front but she doesn't exist in game because uh, there's a blonde chick instead yeah PlayStation 2 go next up guys bust a move 2 now this is obviously the sequel to the ex insanely popular and fun bust a move 1 I mean I guess um, I usually try to make up you know some kind of catchphrase for each of these but this one wrote itself and you can see so addictive it should be illegal you just you can't beat that now you got some random guy who's been populated uh, about a thousand times on this cover and his eyes are being held open by matches if you couldn't tell it took me a really long time to figure that out and I don't know what the hell he's doing I don't know what this game's about but at least it looks epic Irritating Stick. This is probably one of my favorites, guys. And, um, you know, besides giving you, you know, epilepsy and sending you into a seizure just from the front cover, you gotta use two hands, because that's a big stick. And I don't really know what you would do with this, but I think I would actually pick up this game, just because it's so ridiculous. This one is my favorite. Next up, Mega Man, guys. Too bad Mega Man's not on the cover, because handguns are greater than arm blasters any day what why is he carrying a handgun why is he not all blue and then if you look at the top if you look at the top of this thing it above where it says Mega Man it goes state of the art and high resolution graphics now I might just be a little skeptical but there is no fucking way this is state of the art high resolution graphics even in its time they couldn't even fucking draw Mega Man right I'm not even sure if that is Mega Man. I think it's supposed to be Mega Man. It's a Mega Man game. And if it's not Mega Man, why would you not put Mega Man on the front cover of a Mega Man game? I don't know. He's holding a fucking gun. That's not Mega Man. Next up, Pac-Man, guys. Because that's what Pac-Man really looks like. Not only is he wearing a wife beater with his own picture on it, this kid's got one tooth, and he's just running around a castle eating cookies. Like, I've played Pac-Man a lot. I like Pac-Man. I've never played this version. I don't know what the fuck this is. But, you know, they say you play the arcade game at home in the top left. This doesn't... Pac-Man looks like the guy on his fucking shirt. Not this guy. So, and I, he's got clouds in the background. And there's a fucking castle. And, you know, they all look like they're friends. They look like they're playing tag. That's not what the... Okay, that's fine with me. Whatever. And, and on top of that... It's not just Pac-Man nothing. It's Pac-Man asterisk, like new level Pac-Man stuff. I'm sure this game is so off the chain, it's ridiculous. Bomberman, guys. 
Now I want to I want to preface this statement. Okay, I gave it I gave it a little statement, uh, and I I can't take credit for this. I found this on a forum somewhere. Um, and now there's a lot of girls out there who can throw out throw me and beat the shit out of me. And I'm not I'm not saying this to be bad or to be mean. Actually, I think there are I know more girls who can out throw me than guys. But Blue Bomberman completely throws like a girl in the nicest way possible. You know, you know, you're t I'm talking about like the little girls who haven't learned how to throw yet, and they kind of just like lob shit. But he really does. Like, look at that. What kind of, what kind of form is that? And then if you look at the guy on the front, holy shit, that's not fucking Bomberman. Who is this guy? What is going on? That's Bomberman there on the left. This guy sucks. I would not buy this game. That's just me. And I would not play Blue, Blue Bomberman if I did buy it. I would play Red Bomberman or any other color Bomberman. I'm in shock. Now, guys, this one wrote itself because, yeah, I'd be in shock if you actually bought this game. The fuck is this about? This guy's like, I think he's in a spacecraft. Like, there's no stars out, so I'm not sure if that's planet Earth. If he is, I don't, I can't even imagine where else he'd be. But that doesn't look like space back there. Not really. It doesn't even look like Earth, and he's being shot at, and he's just sweating bullets. And the game's just called I'm in shock. If you are dumb enough to pick up this game... I'm in shock. Pure pinball, guys. Now, this one made the list for a very, very obvious reason. Because I play pinball for the girls, too. That's my goal when I play pinball. I look at all the hot girls, and I'm like, yes. This is the game. Now, don't get me wrong. They're not in the game, like, at all. That's just, this is just cover. And then they put them three times. Like, they're in the background. Then they're the same girls up here in the front. And they're also on the pinball. So, I'm not sure what we're selling here. Look at that girl on the far left, too. She's just like, she's ready. She's ready. All these girls are ready. And they have guns? Like, what is this? Is this... And Samurai Sword? Okay, this is... I picked up Pinball for the ladies. Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Now, guys, this one took me a long time to understand why this one's shit. And I'm going to give you a second. But I might be able to help you if I said Box Art Inception. Because look, the regular the regular cover, it's inside the outside cover. Look at the outside. You see how it says two Nintendo DS on the left? This is a Nintendo DS game with the picture of a DS game on the front of it tilted to the side. They literally took the box art of their previous Castlevania game and then redistributed it with its own picture on it and they tilted it and I don't even know. I don't I, I can't. I can't. Like, what? How? No. You just... Why didn't they put the regular game back out? Like, for real. Although it's tricky, though. At first you think, oh, that looks cool. But no, it's it's actually that outer thing. It's just it's just a game box with the picture of a game box on it. That's like... They, like, plagiarized themselves, if anything. Dino City, guys. Now, this one... This one's really special in my heart. Because it's a totally rad game for totally rad dudes. Look at how rad everything in this photo is. He's on a skateboard. They got some kicks. The dinos got some kicks. They're all listening to their, their MP4s in their hand. He's got like a suede jacket on. Kid's giving him the thumbs up. He's got his hat turned sideways, not backwards, sideways. Just, you know, totally rad game for those totally rad dudes out there. And, guys, that's going to wrap it up for uh, part one of the worst video game box art of all time. Uh, if you guys, let me know which one you guys thought was the worst, because a lot of these are pretty bad. I do have to chalk mine up. It's probably Irritating Stick, or maybe Dino City. Those are those are great. But um, I got a lot more. I just didn't want to make this too long if you guys hated it. So let me know. Give me a comment or a like, and I read them all. And the good comments and the likes, I add them up, and I'm like, cool, people like this. And then, yeah. Uh, or not, I will never make another one ever again. But man, the list continues, guys. The list continues. So thanks for watching. And uh, subscribe if you guys like my stuff. And if not, well, you can subscribe anyway and I won't tell anybody. See you next time, guys. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.